Hello everyone, my name is Mark Florence and I am with the Southwest Technical College and Solar PV Outlaws. In this video we're going to talk about rapid shutdown boundaries as required in the 2017 National Electrical Code. Let's get started. In 69012B1 of the 2017 National Electrical Code, it goes into specific details about uh, basically the conductors outside the array boundary. And it states that controlled conductors located outside the array boundary, that one foot boundary, and if you take a look at this image right here, this image is pulled from the 2017 National uh, Electrical Code, the handbook, and you can see here's our array right here, and then we have a, another section of the array right here. Here's the array you can see is outlined in the blue, and the array boundary is one foot in each direction. That would be outlined with those red hash marks. So here's the array you can see right here, but the array boundary extends a foot in each direction. So it lets us know that those controlled conductors located outside the array boundary, so we're talking about this area anywhere outside of this, uh, which is that one foot boundary, or more than three feet from the point of entry inside of a building. So if we go inside of a building, uh, it wants it's more than three feet inside the building. All of those conductors must be limited to less than or equal to 30 volts within 30 seconds of the rapid shutdown initiation. So just keep in mind, anything outside that array boundary, that one foot boundary there, or more than three feet inside the point of entry into the building, all of those conductors, when the rapid shutdown is initiated, the voltage level, that DC voltage on those conductors must drop from whatever it is down to 30 volts or less within 30 seconds of rapid shutdown initiation. And similar to the 2014, it states that voltage must be measured between any two conductors and between any conductor and ground. So basically, the highest voltage between any of the conductors or any of the conductors and ground, all of those conductors must be less than 30, less than or equal to 30 volts within 30 seconds, and every conductor has to be that way. So even the highest voltage on that conductor, the maximum is 30 volts. And so just remember, this is, this is the requirement for conductors outside the array boundary. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this information to be useful and you'd like to stay connected or be notified about future videos, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I hope to see you in the future. Thanks.